Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I promised you guys that I would do a perfume collection so here I am. So I'm going to start with different groups. As you can see I've grouped them into certain houses because I tend to buy from the same house a lot and if I like something I will buy it again. All right shall we begin? As usual I have with me a glass of bubbly and yeah let's have a sip hmm stunning so we're gonna start with the house of Dior and then skins we've got Roger I've put them all into groups Joe Malone um, MFK we've got here Amouage Ex Nilio Initio by Rado, Louis Vuitton, one of my favorites, Clive Christian, we've got Delina, uh, Vilhaden by Killian, and these just are individuals, which is uh, Marfa from Mimo, and um, what is this? Fragrance Dubois, Santal 33 by, what is Santal 33 by? Le Labo, obviously, and Yasmin from Penhaligon. All right, guys, so I'm going to start with the first perfume that um, I was spritzing myself with, and it is Angel's Share from the house of Killian. Now, as you can see, the, bot the, the glass is like a whiskey glass, and even the juice, it's called the juice, is a darkish color resembling a brandy or a whiskey. Now, according to Killian, the inspiration behind this was that because it's a boozy scent. It smells like rum. It smells like, I don't know, it's a very rich, boozy scent. But as it dries down onto the skin, it dries down into a very sweet scent. I love this. I love the story behind it. The story behind this is that, you know, when they do the, the whiskey or the brandy, sometimes it evaporates and they, they call that the angel's share. So that's where the name comes from. And it's one of my, out of the whole collection, I would say it's one of my top 10. All right, so let's move on to the house of Dior. I'm sure you guys can tell which is my favorite because I have a lot of uh, these from the House of Dior. It's from their private collection. And uh, let's see how many do I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll start from the top. This is the much, this, this is the bigger bottles. This is La Colette Noir. I got this from, for Christmas actually last year. It's from my husband. It's light. Very gentle, very floral, very, very light. It's like after you've showered and you want to go to bed or you're not doing anything much running errands, this is the perfume for you. La Colette Noir. Then you have my favorite from the Christian Dior private collection is the Gris Montaigne. But the... The new one is not called Gris Montaigne, it's just called Gris. So the name, the Montaigne is not there. Apparently the Montaigne is the, the street name, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got another Gris here. So I'm going to show you the difference. So this is the older one before they changed the names. So this is the Gris Montaigne. Um, this is, it has the, the name and apparently this is the street name. I stand to be corrected, I don't know. And then this is just the Gris. Same perfume. They've just changed the name over the years. So yeah, I've got both. I mean, as you know, perfume is like wine. It gets better with time. So the more you store it, 
and the correctly you store it is important you have to store it in a dark place a cool place it must never never be in light direct light sunshine in a warm place otherwise in a year it will expire so store your perfumes in a dark cool place oud espahan you want to bam bam you want to chill with the big boys <laughs> this is the one <laughs> i always say that this one smells like you know you own a club like you're a taxi boss like a taxi queen it's strong it's it's boss babe you know it's oud espahan is i don't know it's it's such a fave um and it's unisex so if my husband wears it it's boss on him and if i wear it my my chemical my body chemicals also agree with it it dries down very sweet on me um i think it's not just my body chemistry but this one is when you want to sit at the table with the big boys i love it this one is called grand ball honey and it is what it is it smells like you're about to go to a ball Unfortunately, Dior has discontinued this, and that's why before they had to discontinue it, I bought myself a backup bottle because it is that good. Grand Ball smells like a really a night out on the town wearing a fancy ball gown uh, in a limo. Everybody's like I don't know, you, you're drinking champagne, you're eating caviar, you are just it's 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 that it's it's very luxurious then you've got rouge trolfa i think that's how you pronounce it these are all french and i'm sorry for butchering the names i am not french ah oh, this it smells so good it smells like it smells like berries it all types of berries mixed together it's sweet but it's not overpowering it's not in your face I love, 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 love Rouge Toffa. And then we've got Santal Noir, which is also very, very nice. I love this. It's very similar to me, in my opinion. Very, and slightly similar to the Oud Espahan, but a little bit more tame. I think the Oud Espahan is wild. If, you, you, if you're a tame boss babe, I think Santal Noir is the one for you. And then, of course, Gris, like I told you, they had a, they changed their names. And yeah, that is my Dior House of Dior collection. Then I'm going to move to Skins. So Skins did a collaboration with a guy called, is it Valhem? Yes, it is Valhem. So at Skins, um, they have this section. And this one is called Morning Chess. Those of you that own uh, Creed whether it's creed for women or creed for men um which creed again i forgot the name there's a creed that smells just like morning chess it is stunning it's fresh it's a fresh scent um then you've got skins by valhem this one smells like the library i don't know it's to me it smells like books I love the smell of books. You know when you're reading and you're turning the page? It smells like that. It's, it has a little bit of sweetness to it. It has, I don't know, it's so nostalgic. It smells like a library to me. Like in a good way. Not, not in the fish mothy, stingy, <laughs> stingy way. And then you've got mango skin. Mango skin is just what it is. It's mangoes. You smell like mangoes. It is brilliant it's a summer scent it's juicy it's ripe it's sweet you smell like a mango so if you want somebody to bite ah, into you like a mango spritz this on <laughs> okay okay then i'm going to move to these two roger mr roger dove i am a big fan of roger dove first of all he is brilliant i mean roger will go out into the bushes and collect leaves and dirt and bark and and even he'll go as far as collecting animal feces puts them into his lab 
or his workspace, I don't know what you call it, and he'll come up with the most brilliant scent. In my opinion, Roger is a master perfumer. Sometimes he even comes to your house and he'll, you know, he'll, he'll smell your environment. You know, he'll, he'll say, okay, let's do this and this and this and this. And obviously at a cost, because Roger does not come cheap, he'll make a signature perfume for your home. So Roger Dove is, he's based in London. He's an English man. And um, this one is called Sweetie Oud. Now you can imagine, Oud is very strong. Oud is very masculine. Oud is very powerful. And then Sweetie, it's like a sweet. You imagine a marshmallow mixed with like a strong smoky scent. Oh, an orgasm. I cannot describe it. It's, it's like that. It's sweet, but it's not sticky sweet. It's, what do they call it? I think it's a gourmand. You can, it's like you can eat it type of scent. It's stunning. It's really, really, really beautiful. Sweetie Oud is one of my favorites. Roger's perfumes, like you can spritz your body, wash your clothes, hang them. The next day when you open up your closet, the scent just hits you. That's how good Roger is. And I've got another one by him. It's called Tiamo. Tiamo. Tiamo smells so good. It does. It smells like love. It smells. But also, how, look how pretty the bottle is. This is like, look at the cap. It's just like ruby and gold. It's just super, super, super luxe. I love Roger. And you need to watch his documentary on Netflix, Roger Dove. He talks about his journey, uh, being a perfumer and starting his own house and how he makes his perfumes. You know, people think he's nuts because he literally just, just go down the street and like, and start sniffing everything. That's how amazing he is. So that's the one by Roger. All right, then we're going to go to Amouage. Amouage is a brand from the Middle East. Um, I mean, you can even see how gold and rubies and everything else. This one is called Journey. It's gorgeous. Journey reminds me a little bit of, um, it reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's beautiful. I, I don't have too much of the Amouage because they do tend to smell very, very mature. So if you're not careful, you might smell like somebody's granny. So you have to sort of pick your scents properly when it comes to this particular brand. So I've got this one called Journey. And then I've got this blue one called Figment. Now Figment, it smells like ocean. It smells like the beach. Smells like the sun, you know, like sunscreen, ocean, beach. It smells like a vacation to me. It smells really, really good. I think it's called the yeah, figment. And then the last one here that I have are from Waj. What is this one? And why can't I smell it properly? You know, sometimes you need to have coffee beans with you. What is this one called? I don't even know. Wow. Oh, here it is. It's called Dia. Dia smells. Why can't I smell Dia? I mean, I know I've been storing them. Mm. Mm, I don't know. It smells like a granny. But <laughs> maybe a good granny? I don't know. I, I, this is why I haven't reached out for this one a lot. I, I, I remember now. It has that very mature uh, vibe about it. It's got the danger of smelling like a granny. And I mean, granny smell amazing, but if you're like a young hip women, woman, you wanna smell, you know, like that girl. All right, then we've got the house of Joe Malone. Now, I love Joe Malone so much. Joe, as you can see, I have her candles everywhere in my house, 
also from London, like Mr. Roger Dev. Um, Joe's perfumes are, are relatable. You know, it's her scents are amazing and they they just they just are clean and they're not complicated. Literally with Joe, a rose smells like a rose, you know? If it's if she says it's a green scent and it's green, you'll smell like a salad. Patchouli is patchouli. You know, she doesn't mix and match and complicate things. That's why I love, 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 love Joe. So this one um, is Cypress Grapevine. It smells good. I had it, I had my nail, my name put on. I don't know if you can see. I have my name engraved right onto there. And can I plug you guys? I'm gonna plug you real quick. If you mix Cypress Grapevine with, with fig and lotus flower. If you mix these two, you will smell like you are coming down from heaven. You will smell like an angel, hands down. There's been many times where I have gone and spritzed both perfumes and gone to work or run errands. And I've been stopped, I've been followed. People are like, excuse me, ma'am, what are you wearing? What is that? Like, it's not so good. And sometimes I don't know what to say because I'm like, oh, well, they both from Joe Malone, but I've mixed the two. Which is why it works with Joe is that she doesn't complicate her fragrances. And therefore, you can mix, you know, her fragrances together. I mean, like, even if you buy her fragrances, there's like a leaflet or a pamphlet inside that says you can mix cypress with fig or you can mix wood sage and sea salt with cypress and vice versa and also very uh, friendly with costs so she's not too expensive um yeah i love jo malone and this one also is chiba rose and angelica and of course this one reminds me of cape town i don't know why I love wood sage and sea salt. It reminds me so much of Cape Town. It reminds me, yeah, for sure. I don't. I think because I, I bought it in Cape Town, and it was my. It was the because I'd forgotten uh, my fragrances here uh, at home. And we were vacationing in Cape Town, and I went to Joe Malone, and I went to go and buy this. And every time I spray this, I just remember Cape Town. I really do love it. Wood sage and sea salt, honey. Whoa! Don't sleep on yourself. If you have this, you definitely are that girl. If you don't, go get it. It is amazing, amazing. Okay, Cal, I can't reach. Okay. So will you help me? Which one do you want to do next? Okay, let's start with MFK. This one over here. You're gonna have to help me out <laughs> this house over here. Maybe I can pass you a few. Pass me a few. Okay, Cal is helping me uh, and I'm sure you guys are very familiar with MFK. Uh, one of their most popular fragrances is the Baccarat Rouge. Thank you. So let's start. MFK stands for Mason Francis Coeur de Jean. That's what it stands for. Paris. And this is called Grand Soir. Now, Grand Soir, honey, is warm, fireplace, um, sweet, honey, also very boozy, very boozy fragrance. Um, it works so well on, um, on, on, it works so well on my skin. It also works well on guys as well. Again, unisex. Um, Grand Soir. Love, 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 love this fragrance. Not my favorite, but it competes very up there. Then from MFK, you've got Oud Satin Mood. And is this not 
a mood oh it is what it's smooth it's silky it's yummy it, it it's 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 an oud but it's not offensive this does not offend you I, I, I swear if you want to go and close that deal in that boardroom and you want to be known as that girl as the boss babe before you sign those papers to make you a billy girl you put on this you you spritz yourself you spritz yourself with a little bit of oud sassu mood and I swear you will wow oh, I love this fragrance it's oh, it's a boss babe fragrance it's so like like let's do this you know let's like let's chase that paper Woo. okay the next one is Baccarat Rouge the extract so this is the more oil based one so it's very strong uh, stronger than this one. This is this also very, competes very well on its own. This one is beast mode on its own. They for me, some people prefer this one over this one. For me, I can't tell because every time I put one, this one on, I get compliments. If I put this one on, I also get the same amount of compliments. So it just depends if you're in the mood for something very very strong. It can get overwhelming. So you just need two sprays. I overspray. Okay. I will offend you with my perfume. If I'm in the lift with you or I'm sitting next to you on the plane, I'm that girl. You will be offended by my smell because I overspray. I know people are like, well, the rules are two sprays behind the ear. One, two. On the pulse points, which are these, the pulse points. And then maybe behind the knees a little bit. And that's all you need. No, 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 no. Your girl is like, psh, 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 psh. that is me. And I have no shame. I love it. I love it that much. Um, yeah, it's starting to get very popular. Every Lindy, Ntlantla, Togozane, Jabu, and her grandmother have it but it's it's that perfume that you need to have i think it's a timeless perfume even this the sister timeless and it's one of those that you need to have in your collection it's like a, a classic chanel flap it's one of those that you need to have in your perfume if you are a collector of fragrances like your girl mrs mops <laughs> all right and then I've got the hairspray, same thing, same version. So let's go through it. I have the extract, which is the stronger one of the MFK, of the Baccarat Rouge by 40. Then I've got the lighter version, same thing, same smell. Then you get the hairspray because it does, this contains alcohol, right? This does not contain alcohol. So the hairspray, is good to spritz on your hair because alcohol breaks down the hair it makes it dry so they were very clever and they've created a hairspray i don't know it might be a marketing gimmick for for us to spend more money but i think it works it works hairspray then i've got don't judge me same thing same fragrance same perfume <sighs> the body spray okay the body spray is completely, it's actually a body oil. It's, um, it smells the same. It's, it smells like A, <laughs> B, and C. So now if you want to be that girl, Onehaba, who likes to exaggerate a little bit, you'll first start with the body spray, the body oil, I mean, and you'll oil yourself down. Then you'll say, the perfume okay then if you're extra you'll go for this which i don't i don't commend and then when you're done after you're fully dressed you just spritz the hair girl mm. they'll, they, they'll they'll smell you coming 
And long after you've gone, they'll say, was Mbumi here? Was, was, was Mrs. Mops here? Because damn, this room is filled with her essence. This is the house of Baccarat, all right? And then from the same house, La Rose, I think it's called Liu à la Rose. It's a rose fragrance, it's very fresh. It smells very light, um, doesn't last very long. I think you get six hours max. And then you've got from the same house, woo, gentle fluidity, gold. I know there's two, you've got gentle fluidity silver and you've got gentle fluidity gold. This is gentle fluidity gold because what I tend to find with the silver that it's more um, masculine. To me, I don't know, to you it might smell different, but this one smells really, really good. It smells yummy, um, very sweet, um, smooth, satiny. It's it's gorgeous. I think all of Mason um, Francis perfumes are the bomb. They perform the same. Okay, the extracts, I'm extra. Oh, and <laughs> the other one from the same house. So in total, from the house of MFK, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this isn't all of them. Um, yeah. All right, Cal, let's go to those three over there. These ones. Yes, please. You can pass me those. Oh, Cal, what did you say before when I was reaching for my glass of shams? It's thirsty work being bougie. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> So it's thirsty work being bougie, so you need bubbles to just, you know, hydrate yeah, you. You can't, like, a bougie person doesn't drink water. You've, like, transcended that. It's, you get hydrated by champagne. Listen. Well, exactly. Right? I love that. You run different. It's like 93 versus 95. <laughs> it's like, bougie people, you get 95. You're talking It's proper. <laughs> oh, I love you, Cal. That is so true. All right. Now, so we've got the house of ex Nilo and it's called Fleur Narcotic. Ooh. We know narcotics are drugs, honey. So now when you combine flowers and drugs, what do you get? Fleur Narcotic. It really is like a like a flower bomb. It's it's flowers literally exploding. Exploding in your nose very 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 amazing then we've got this one it's called amber sky amber sky also is a top contender out there it, it it's amber sky is the girl that she thinks she is she's that girl wow okay and then you've got oh, this one reminds me of my bestie um bought me this actually Oh, here we go. It's called explicit. And that's what it is. It's explicit. It, no apologies. Okay? It's, it's just that. It's a walking if you sign. <laughs> it's good. It's that good. Ah, I love it. If you, if you love something that's loud, but sweet, with a huge um, uh, sillage, uh, explicit is the way to go it's sweet it lasts very long it leaves a trail long after you've gone this is the one it's called explicit from the house of ex nilio all right uh cal can you pass me that one from initio those three <laughs> as we carry on with this video guys we're, we're getting to the big girls now you you're running with the big girls now you're competing you know all right, so whew, let's start with the daddy, the daddy. If somebody could say, who's in charge of this entire collection? And I say, it's daddy, like that. It's, it's daddy, not daddy, not daddy, no, daddy. Ood for greatness. You want to chill with the big boys, this one. If, 
if, if, if you had to compare daddies, right? It would be Oud for greatness. And Oud Asbahan. Woo! But um, let's give credit where credit is due, shall we? Look at the bottle. It's black, it's gold, it screams luxury. On its own, it performs like a beast. You don't need anything when you have Oud for Greatness. It's on beast mode 24 seven. There's no, there's no, there's no like competing with this. In all of the Ouds, and I know, you know, Oud is a, a trend lately. And I mean, it's been around forever. The people from the Middle East have been using Oud forever. So, and I mean, a lot of people have only caught on now onto Oud and there's different types of Ouds out there. And Oud is quite expensive. So when, whenever you find a good Oud, you must jump on it because it really is, it really is a special ingredient. It's a natural ingredient. You, you get synthetic Ouds, but if you could find a, a natural ingredient, I think Oud, oud is bark. Like a tree, it's found like in a tree bark or it's like a fungus growing from a tree bark. I stand to be corrected. Um, but this baby is amazing. From the house of Inishio. This is daddy. Then you have side effect. You know, what happens when you've gone out on a night? A night about town. You're a girl about town and you're with your girls and you're just having a good time. The side effects of happiness. You wake up in the morning and you're reminiscing about what happened last night. Side effect is that it's, 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 it's beautiful, it's, it's sweet, it's boozy, it's floral. There's a bit of ginger in here. There's a bit of cardamom in here. There's a bit of vanilla in here. I think that's where the sweetness comes from. A bit of vanilla. It's stunning. So you know what happened last time? Because I break rules all the time. You know, I do a thing called whatever I want. And I mixed daddy and I mixed side effect. And I went out. Oh, let me tell you. Was I not stopped? Excuse me, what are you wearing? Every time I moved my hands, hmm, you smell amazing. Every time I flipped my hair, oh my goodness, what are you wearing? Every time the compliment would not stop. And then the next day, because I came home and I changed out of my clothes, and the next day when I walked into my closet, bam, I was greeted by this amazing scent. Beautiful. Another one from the house of Anisha that I love is Atomic Rose. Baby, I know you've heard of Delina. Callum, could you please pass me Delina, that pink one over there, that beautiful pink one over there. Atomic Rose <laughs> is the big sister of Delina exclusive. I say this, dare I say this, that these two are the same fragrance, but they perform completely differently. This is the big sister to this. This one is the girl that is established, you know, somewhere in her thirties. She's already made it, you know, she's, you know, she's, she's going for that executive position. She is, this one is a baddie. You know, she's still, you know, she's still that girl in her 20s. But it's still, still very, very beautiful. Same performance. Maturity wise, this one is that woman. Performance wise, this one is that girl. They are both extremely, extremely, extremely beautiful. 
that is the house of Phoenicia. And while I'm still, while I'm here with these two, as you can see, same thing. So this one is the, the exclusive, the Delina exclusive is the more stronger one. So it's the extract. Remember earlier I said the extract is more oil based. Um, yeah, so it has, I think a higher percentage or something like that. And then this one is the normal one, still very, very powerful. And this one is even more powerful. So, I mean, you don't need both of them, but because I am extra like that, I had to have both of them also as backup. I mean, you never know if you break a bottle by accident, you have another bottle. But this is the extract and this is the normal one. All right, Cal, can you pass me the two Byredos? I want in that one. Byredo, I am a fan of Byredo. I've had Byredo over the years, but I never repurchase. So this one is called Cilia. Also, it's a little one. It's a, also an extract, I think. Um, it is, it is an extract. Cilia, Cilia smells, Cilia smells. It's very leather. It's very, I don't know if you, if you can imagine a cigar lounge, but not with the cigars, like that dark, um, you know, Chelsea, leather Chelsea chairs, newspapers, the fire is going, it's cold outside. It might be drizzling. There's coffee, I'm painting you a picture and it smells like that. It smells very, very sophisticated. It smells very gentleman, very lady-like. And again, for me, I, I, all of my perfumes are unisex. So your partner can also wear them. You can wear his. There is no gender in perfumes. You can actually wear your boyfriend or your, your husband's or your partner's fragrances. I don't know, Cal, what do you think of smelling like a bouquet of flowers? I don't mind, yeah, I'm confident enough in my mouth. Ooh! <laughs> I love that! Cal has got it, he needs to plug the other guys so that they know. I'm never going to tell you. <laughs> That's your secret. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cal, let's go to the two Louis Vuittons there in front. All right. Fashion houses are doing the most, as you guys know. House of Dior has a private collection, and so does Louis Vuitton. These are the only two from Louis Vuitton that I have because I'm not that big of a fan of their fragrances. I have this one, and unfortunately, this one has been discontinued. It's called Turbulence. Uh, they won't make it anymore. Um, personally, I think it's such a big mistake because turbulence smells like flowers, not flowers, like spices. It smells like spices. It smells like it's warm. It's a warm, spicy scent. I use it a lot now in winter because it just covers you. It, it, it puts you in like a little a cocoon and it, and it sort of cradles you the whole day and it lasts the entire, the entire day. So that's the one by, uh, it's called Turbulence by Louis Vuitton. It's been discontinued, unfortunately. And then you've got Rose de Vence. It's a rose. But it's not, it's not like your typical rose. It's like a Turkish rose, like a, like a Turkish delight. That's, how, that's what I get from it. It's a soft, beautiful rose. Um... It's not your average rose, like, like the one that Joe Malone makes. You know that it's a rose. It's, it smells just like a rose. There's nothing in it but rose. This one is a, a, a beautiful, sweet Turkish pow powdery. That's right. It's a, it's a very powdery rose, this one. It's stunning. I actually forgot about this one. It's called Rose de Vence by the House of Louis Vuitton. Okay, so now we have a very, very sophisticated gentleman, a perfumer of note. I think if I had to compare this gentleman with Roger, the 
Englishman. Hmm? Amangisi. Abuye England. I I um I respect these two gentlemen. They know their story. They know their story very well. Clive Christian, ladies and gentlemen, is in my opinion another master perfumer. Next to Roger, of course. This is from his private collection. Mind you, Clive Christian's perfumes do not come cheap. I think this one retails for about 10,000. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's from six to 10 and from 10 upwards, depending. This one is C from the private collection. A lot of my perfumes are from the private collection because you know, I always um, find that they put a lot of time and energy creating a masterpiece. It's like an artist at work, actually. When you hear the story behind each fragrance, you have respect for these guys or ladies because they really put their hearts and soul into these fragrances. You know, they'll tell you about a memory, a childhood memory or traveling to South Africa, or going to Egypt, riding a camel, and then they saw the sun, they saw the sun setting, and the and the sky was orange, and that's what inspired the smells. And I yeah, no, it's it's they know. Woody Floral is is one of my favorites from Clive Christian. It is also from their private collection. It is woody floral with a vintage rose. So it's woody. It's floral. It has a vintage rose. I, I like spicy, sweetish floral fragrances. Um, this is stunning. It's really, really gorgeous. Then I've got Clive, uh, um, Clive Christian Noble Collection from the Noble Collection, and this one is Cosmos Flower, and he's named it a perfume of noble birth. Hmm. Of noble birth. If you think about noble birth, you are an earl, a duke, a duchess, a princess, a prince. Listen, honey. If you are of noble birth, I can go back to Zululand and say, "Hey, I'm a princess. I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a Zulu. I'm a Zulu princess. I'm of noble birth. You can wear this. It's called it's it's called Queen Anne, and it's so gorgeous. Very oil based. So be careful not to spray directly on your clothes. Always spray on your skin because it's very very oily. I'll show you now." Okay, I'm gonna just let it slide down. Never dab. Don't never do this. I see people spray and then they do this. No, you're killing the you're killing the perfume when you do that. You're destroying the molecule. So just spray, let it air dry a little bit, and then. But look at that. Look how look how oily. Look how oily that is. Do you see? Do you see the oil? It literally even moisturizes my skin. That's how strong it's like. It's like an extract. I think it is. Oh, and it smells so good. Um, yeah. By Clive Christian. I even have a backup bottle of the same thing. Oh, what can I do? I just always I'm always afraid that they discontinue stuff they always discontinue stuff and then you want to find it and then they say oh, I'm sorry ma'am it's been discontinued so that's why I always buy a backup bottle it's not price effective but you know if you love something you love something you, you, get, you get people that collect wine you get people that collect shoes I collect perfume so it is what it is all right, so then we're going to move on to ah Pen Haligon. Oopsie. OK, 
Okay, pen haligon. This one is called Portraits Pen Haligon. There's a story behind these cute little animals with Pen Haligon. This one is called Yasmin, Bewitching Yasmin. I think she's the mistress of William. William, I think, is the ram or the goat. And then you've got the bird, and then you've got the peacock, then you've got the wolf. They all have different heads. These like little caps. You know, and then you get Mr. Mr. Sneaky or something like that. There's a story behind all of this. And then there's a love child and, and, and. So this one is called Bewitching Yasmin. And of course, Yasmin, Jasmine. It's a very Jasmine scent. Jasmine is very, is known for being very sexy. It's like Chiba Rose. It's known for being sexy, very seductive. And I think that's why they called it Bewitching Jasmine. So if you want to go on a night out, and you want to get that somebody you spritz this on and you could be bewitching jasmine <laughs> then i have ooh, i've got this guy here mason crevalli hibiscus mahajat hibiscus mahajat this guy came to south africa last week or two weeks ago um he came to skins in durban johannesburg and Pretoria because that's where the, the three shops are and he's French and he was explaining how he um, came about this 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 fragrance it's hibiscus and it has to do with his travels and um, he just he's such an amazing gentleman you know I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Mason Crivelli I actually wanted to bring this bottle to get signed by him, but I, I had forgotten this bottle. Um, this guy is new in the perfume game, but I think this little baby is gonna be a contender with this. Quote me on this. Say to me that Mrs. Mops did say in her YouTube channel that this baby is going to be the next this. Because everybody's on this, Everybody has caught on to this. Every person and their mom has this. No one. I mean, only a selected few know about this. Guys, I am putting you on. I'm your plug. This is your girl. This is the girl that you need to have. This. You'll be fighting. You'll be on the waiting list. Remember when this came out? Everybody was in line for this. We were on the waiting list. Trust me. Okay. Right. Ooh, I've got one of this. Actually, I can't believe it. I don't know why I have this guy. Francis Dubois, Siberian Rose. Baby. Siberia Rose. I think you can tell there's a pattern here. Kel, can you tell there's a pattern? You like roses. Rose. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, I, I've just discovered there's a lot of rose. But what's weird is that it's all different rose. So no rose smells like the same. Siberian rose from the Siberian mountains. It's cold in Siberia. So this is a cool rose. It's not a warm rose. It's, it's, it's very cool. It's icy. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's powdery. Mm, it's not overwhelming. It's not overbearing. It's sexy as well. It's, this is the one. Siberian rose from the house of Francis Dubois. And you can get them actually there there they are in hyde park they are in hyde park um okay and then you've got marfa marfa from mimo it's called marfa marfa is is a spicy marshmallow very sweet very um flowery stunning it lasts forever then i've got killian i started with killian where is that boozy one that I started with? I can't see it now. Ah, there. I think you can. I started with Killian, right? And now also Woman in Gold. Do you remember when Rihanna announced to the world that she weighs Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian? 
Wow. Did she not kill us after that? Because we could not find Good Girl Gone Bad. Because everybody ordered Good Girl Gone Bad and it was out of stock for months. Because everyone wants to smell like Rihanna. Do you remember? I know. It was the best, best seller ever. Personally, I never bought Good Girl Gone Bad because for me it's very sweet. It's 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 very sticky sweet. I don't know if I don't know I don't know if you remember Candy by Prada back in the day. I don't know if they make it anymore. It's pink, it's, it's in a pink bottle. Candy by Prada. Good Girl Gone Bad reminds me of that. It's a marshmallow that is sticky, sticky, sticky sweet. You put it, you, you, you put it on you and it sits here. Literally. It sits here. You're like, it, it's over, it's overwhelming. You have to shower to just get the scent of you. People love that sometimes. Me, I don't. I do like a sweet smell, but I don't think I like being overpowered by a smell so therefore i did not unfortunately buy that but woman in gold huh. now let's talk about sophistication let us talk about oh yeah woman in gold let us talk about sophistication it's beautiful it's dark it's brilliant the only thing that i'm not a fan of with with killian's um fragrances is that you can get a good eight hours max a good eight hours in Killian's fragrances and that's it after that then you're gonna have to reapply you're gonna have to bring a bottle with you to constantly reapply and then oh my favorite by Killian is I know I said this is my favorite but I mean these are all my kids so do you have favorites among your kids? No. Or at least you don't tell them that you do. You know? Um, this one is Moonlight in Heaven. And my goodness. Moonlight, Moonlight in Heaven smells... It's... Let me... Every time I spray, it's a hundred rand. That's a hundred rand. Oh. No, man, I can't... That's another hundred rand. Oof. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Moonlight in Heaven is is fresh. It is. You can even go to dare dare I say, dare I say that you can even go to bed with this one. After showering, you can literally just like do a few sprays. Not too much because you're going to bed now. You don't want to choke yourself. Um, it's a very fresh scent, so you can get away with that being a bedtime scent. Um, it's stunning. Moonlight in heaven. Um, I love this fragrance. Unfortunately, it also doesn't last very long. Killian, please do something about your fragrances. Can we have them last a little bit longer? Um, we love them and we'd like to have 12 hours, 18 hours of just smelling like a cookie, hmm? like a cupcake. Who wants to be a muffin? In a world full of cupcakes, honey. No one. You want to be a cupcake in a world full of muffins? This one also is a big contender from Le Labo. The reason why I'm such a fan of Le Labo is this. One, Le Labo uses natural, fra natural ingredients in their fragrances. Um, they believe uh, not testing their they are, they are, their fragrances on animals um, they don't believe in anything synthetic so everything with them is sourced from nature but what's wonderful about Le Labo is that even if they are, their stuff is authentic and it's organic it doesn't go off as quickly you know um, they do recommend that you put this one in the fridge obviously because it's going to be different from all the, the, the synthetic ones um, but their fragrances, um, they're, they're very ethical, which I, I support that, you know, and, um, it's amazing because everything of theirs is hundred percent from nature. This one is called Santal, Santal 33. Don't forget it. 
Santal 33. It smells good. What I love about what they do is once you buy this, once you buy it, they, 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 they tell you about where you got it and what day you got it and for who you got it from. All right. Um, for example, I'll show you here. It says labeled on and then it says, okay, you labeled at skins. It's for, oh, on the dates, the 9th of April of this year. So I got it for myself for the 9th of April on my birthday. And then it's for Bumi Mops. Can you see those details? Yeah, you can. You can. Maybe just bring it a bit closer. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And so it's it's great for if you want to gift somebody th uh, this for their birthday. I mean, you can even write a message. Like, let's say somebody's getting married. You, you can personalize it and say, oh, to my BFA for on your wedding day, love from Bumi. And, you know, every time they take this, they see it and they'll be like, oh, my bestie. <laughs> love this fragrance very much. Lilabo all natural all natural stuff it's amazing another one another fragrance that i love is a, a house called it's by clean clean smells like the name clean literally and i've got one called warm cotton it smells like towels you know after after you take towels out of the dryer and you smell them they smell like they stay soft they smell like soft towels i love that fragrance it's called clean i have it and normally as well i use it as a bedtime scent as well at night after i've taken a shower i put on my beautiful pajamas and i spritz this one on and whew, you just smell beautiful all night okay now we're going back to the middle east we were in the Middle East earlier with Amwash. Now, going back to the Middle East with Vidian. Hmm. A Vidian. This one is called Liwa. Liwa is whew, very, it's gorgeous. Liwa is very strong. I recommend one or two sprays because it's that scent that will offend you. It's stunning. It's it's beautiful. It's berries. It's um, smoky. I get stopped a lot with this one, a lot. Um, people compare compare it with this one. Some people mix it with this one, but uh, I don't know if you want to be that hectic and give yourself a migraine, you know. And then I've got another one from Liwa called Sahara. After the Sahara Desert. It does. I, I can see why he named him that. He named it that. It's it's like the Sahara, really. It's dry. It's a warm scent, very warm. You can imagine an oasis, an oasis in the middle of a desert. There's an oasis, and you're going there, and you get you're parched, and you're gonna go drink water. This Widian. Is it Vidian or Widian? I don't know. I, I'm going to risk it and say Widian. Please comment down below if I've butchered it. I think it might be Widian. Can't be Vidian. Huh? Sounds, sounds very Dutch, very Afrikaans when you say Vidian. I'll, I'll say the Widian. Um, I think that is it. That is all of them. Wow, goodness gracious me. That's not even half of the collection. I I love to smell good. What can I say? Okay, so ballpark figure. <laughs> what does your entire collection cost? Oh, um, just this one or your whole collection? Okay, or this one. Let's let's this one. Okay, I would say. A hundred thousand. Hundred K. That's probably a hundred K here. Wow. Of proper perfumes. Wow. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty impressive. That's a collection. It's how yeah, it's yeah. It's I'm proud of it. It's a it's a beautiful collection. Every girl needs to smell like a cupcake. I always say you need to smell good. You need to, you know, perfume sort of introduces yourself before. I mean, perfume introduces you before you even introduce yourself. I mean, Dior himself, Mr. Dior, Mr. Christian Dior himself says, one drop of perfume and you're dressed. You know what I mean? Got you. Yeah, love, love, love it. And the famous Marilyn Monroe was once asked in an interview and they said to her, what do you wear in bed? And she says, I wear Coco Chanel. Hey, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. She, she wears nothing but Coco Chanel. Yeah. So yeah, perfume is very, very important. It does introduce you before you introduce yourself. It's your, it's your scent. It's your signature scent. People know who you are. You're that girl. And I personally think that every girl needs to smell amazing. And you don't have to, girls. And I'm going to... You don't have to, ladies. You don't have to buy a 15k perfume there's there's no way you, you there's there's so many good dupes out there like this one here ariana grande actually had a nice dupe called cloud for this one it smells exactly the same so go to edgar's or true words or fashini and get cloud you'll smell just like this zara also came out with another one that smells just like this so you don't have to choke yourself and and you know go over budget um you know trying to keep up this just babes do you and if you smell good you smell good we'll never know that it's a 15k perfume you know you could smell like 20 million bucks with a, a, a like a 2000 rand perfume or 1000 rand perfume absolutely no judgment you do you Thank you so much for joining me on this part of my perfume collection. Remember, I will be taking you to my very good friend, Brian, who is, in my personal, uh, uh, my personal opinion, a very good nose. He's an expert in perfumes and he'll be teaching us a thing or two on how to apply correctly, not like me, how to store how to choose, maybe even on a budget. I'll ask him that because we do sometimes need to work on a budget. We don't have to be wasteful. And yeah, Brian will teach us that. So thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go get my ex now, my 60 rand. <laughs> Your 60 rand. <laughs> it's okay.